Hello there, this is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to episode 11 of our Russian Let's Play series. For last episode, we formed a Russia. And we got a, one of the achievements that we were seeking in this achievement run. Let's push east. We actually did it about 50 or 50 years early, or at least 30 or 20 years earlier. Early. Uh, but anyways, we're going to get ready to go to war with Sweden. Just so we can go ahead and just beat up the Commonwealth, steal a bunch of money from them, you know, let the, uh, kind of get the, uh, the real ball rolling in the essence of world conquest just because we can have a lot of money we can snowball a little bit harder that's what we'd like to do estates nothing too big there we do have a little bit of a st stab issue right now where we need stab we do have a rebel issue so we're actually going to go ahead and take this quick wait that'll increase the cost of our stab though we'll wait on that then we do definitely want to take admin tech, um, so we can go ahead and get Diplo ideas and continue our annexation of vassals. Lots of claims on Sweden. Finally go for Savalax. Sure, sounds right. Great. Call Hungary and Brandenburg in. They'll definitely help us against Commonwealth and Sweden, obviously. Although Commonwealth is our big enemy, where we're just basically going to break their alliance for the most part. Declare the war. Commonwealth is currently at war with the Ottomans. Uh, they are winning, but maybe we can help them change the tide of the battle. I'm actually going to send this 18k stack all the way to the other side of the coast. Go take care of the rebels. Portugal's made it all the way over here. Well, congratulations, you guys. You made it. You go there, you're going the other way. And you go ahead and take this fort in Sweden. Everlasting friendship. It sounds like we got an heir in there. Russian claims on the steps, so we gain permanent claims. Pretty nice, honestly. Lose stab, now we'll lose the money. 80 decades is nothing. And pause. At 356, that is a great heir. She's an okay queen. Taken alone, Timurids entered our coalition. That sucks, but what can you do? We do have two available Diplo relation slots, ship slots. Those are going to be vassals inside the Commonwealth that will spit out. We'll lose 80 ducats. Yes, you guys are suffering in the frontier. It's okay. Have faith. There is another colony. Self-sustaining. Wonderful. Let's go and begin our colonizing of Alaska. I think that is one of our missions left. Oh, we actually have our expanded our mission tree. Both are the troops. Timeline of Troubles Disaster. Done what that one is. Alright, so we just need to colonize over here. Sounds good. Colonize there. Oh, we can expel minorities. Uh, I think we're okay with without. Uh, gain the autonomy. Separatist or Sweden's opinion goes up. We'll go with that. Exploration was finished. Wonderful. Uh, we have a dangerous, a dangerous uh, coalition that may be forming. So can't really lose any troops to these fights. Or at least too many. So what do we got here? Great power. That's it. All right, fine. We'll get that. We have no choice in the matter. A closer way to attack. Pretty close. Probably wait till next year. Get a little cheaper. Swedish troops got black flagged. Wonderful. And some culture conversions. Very nice. So what do we have? Just raising troops. We're gonna wait on that though. What we are going to do is we are going to take admin tech and then increase our stab and hopefully avoid all of our disasters. Because two of them will go away if we get just one stab. Peasant war, it's going to happen. Just because we have high overextension, which we are also waiting on. Admin tech. So we'll do stab instead of... Uh... We're going to do take stab instead of just coring, just because it'll be a little bit quicker, I think. Go explore the Northeast Pacific. Sounds good. You guys have fun with that. Hey, local settlers have peace. Wonderful. Trade dispute against Fox. Sure. Go and convert our plethora of land. Multan joined our coalition. Where's our third missionary? One, two, but we have three. Did you get stuck here? Nope. 
Right, let's just recall them. You're almost done. Where's the, where's the other one? Over here? You bugged there, bud? St. Petersburg. Looks like he is bugged. No, he's he's converting something. Just not showing up on the list, though. Is he free? Kind of weird. Kamchak. Oh no, you're right here. Yep, that's where he is. Force the serfdom, lose admin points. Nah, we'll lose the legitimacy. Let's see. Let's go after the capital of Sweden. Just kind of make our way there. Conversion, wonderful. Go for Herat. It will give this land over to uh, Yarkman. Hey, additional population, wonderful. Local settler increase. Gujarat, you joined the coalition. I didn't even know we had an aggressive expansion against you. Not very much. Ah, oh, yeah, you guys are pretty angry in this area. It's okay, we're going to war against the Catholics this time. Oop. Extra... Extra pop. And you've almost made it. <laughs> to the other side of the country. Is this admin tech? It is. We'll take that. Give us the, uh, that influence ideas. Give us some extra money from our vassals. So we have a plethora of them. And the Commonwealth, we're just going to take a ton of money off you. Hey, extra 100 pop. That's just because we have so many colonies at the moment. <laughs> it's a little high at the moment. Yeah, we'll support the church. More culture conversions, wonderful. Doing disasters are still going, but we're going to go ahead and core here. Or no, we're going to increase stab, not core. Get it right. Oop, military leader died. No idea where he died. Oh, you just stepped on that floor. Here, come off and go grab another leader, because we'll probably get a siege leader. Exploration finished. Hey, Brandenburg, I'll totally give you land in this war, uh, just because we could get a PU on you. Let's see. Yeah, Japan is Emperor of China is name in name. Japan's the Emperor of China. How they got that, I have no idea, but... Congratulations, Japan. I know you guys were huge rivals for so long. And suddenly you're, you know, the Emperor of China. <clears throat> that is a 25k stack just roaming around our land without a leader. Seems like a pretty good opportunity for a stack wipe. What am I just asking you to do? No. Explore. North Pacific. Siege of Pozon has ended. Okay, well, Sweden, you can take that back. Yeah, there we go, we caught ya. Helps having a little bit of maneuver. We can slowly catch an army. You guys had a lot of artillery there. That hurt. Clear out that 2k stack. Conversion. Another fort. You have zero troops there. You have 40 troops in your cannon. Go ahead and continue our conversions. Did anyone take care of our rebels that we have over here? Yeah, Yarklin is. Nice shot for Yarklin. Commonwealth, you are still on high. A little unexpected, to be honest. This, that's a lot of artillery, too. All right, we'll just go take that siege. You guys go for the war goal. There we go. Even with the overextension, it's really not that bad to boost ta or boost stab. There we go. I think for the most part that ended. Looming disaster now is just the peasant war, just because stab is not higher. That can be arranged. It'll take a couple more months though. 
I go hungry, beat up those Swedish troops. Or culture. There you go, you've almost made it. Rounding the crest. Lose double points or prestige? Nah, we'll lose that prestige. Prestige is nothing to us. Military leader has passed on. Not there. Well. Go there, just so you can get a new leader. Karat has rebelled. That's the Timurids? No, it's Korchan. So we've got um, Orthodox Zealots. Those are actually fine. Rebels there are just annoying. Here we go. Got that back. Give us a new leader. 2-6. He's not very good. I mean, decent. Do one of those. Here we go. Stack wipe. Another stack wipe. Timurids are at war, sure. Siege of Plock. I'm gonna go after the capital of the Commonwealth. New trade goods and all of our new land. There you go. Big hit, another stack wipe, wonderful. Go hit that. There goes Warsaw. Brandenburg, I will give you Danzig. Take that. Give us lots of money. War ups. No treaties with Sweden. All right, you can you can honestly keep Sweden. They're not that big of a deal. Plus, they're not gonna look too too pretty after this. Got a thousand ducats in that peace deal, though. All right, Sweden, you're dying today. Well, not literally today, but you know. Time is progressing, but that's what we're gonna we're running on. The end of Sweden. All right, we got rebels all over there. <clears throat> and our newly conquested land. All right, how's our looming disasters going? Peasant war is pretty close. Up, up, stab to one, so it stops progressing. And then we'll just core all this. Call good. <clears throat> New trade goods, wonderful. Who else is in this war? Utrecht. Oh, Brandenburg, you peaced out. I just, I gave you land and then you just leave? Well, it looks like you did get sieged down a little bit. Alright, let's make our way over to Utrecht. Sounds like they have money to give. No, give us some mercantilism. Take it. You need a siege leader. Take a three siege leader. Take that guy, I guess. Who do you have this 18th stack? Well, you have the 454, four, but I'd rather have you... You have high... High, high maneuver, yeah, so you guys can walk across the land quicker. Wow, that was like a huge brain fart there on words. Alright, Sweden, you're falling. It's great. Behind te military tech, admin tech, and diplo tech. Give us up, pop. Sounds good. Brandenburg, you did leave, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Any other cores that we can do? Yep. Alright, you got occupied. Let's go on, come on, come on back. Still have no. You stuck under here? Yeah, that's where our missionary is. Come back from there. Worth that. Alright, let's go ahead and continue to colonize Alaska. Uh, just send the colonist. Yet another siege has fallen. Norway, you're still doing your thing. Ten prestige, Russia gains permanent claim on the Ural region. I'm pretty sure we already have it. Day is full. It's kind of weird, because I don't think the Orthodox were huge into the Crusades. I think it was more of the Catholics for the most part. Timurids look like they're dying. Yeah, they got rebels, and they're getting conquered. So if they do uh, get obliterated, we'll go ahead and release the Timurids, because they have lots of cores in our area. You're no longer going up. I actually got really close. What's the percentage? 93. 
Oh, you got Stockholm back. That sucks. I guess we'll take that back. Do you have the war goal? Volts over here in Yarkland. Where are you guys at? This 18k. There you are. Still making the long march. Takes time. Go and repair alone. No need to continue to pay interest on it. Rather just get it done and over with. Explore the northeast Pacific. Revolt in Merv. Meppin has fallen. Hey, you tricked. Get out of the war. Uh, Brandenburg, can we have military access just so we can walk around? Thank you, I appreciate it. Hey, Denmark, you still exist. Two little islands, it looks like. Should your skein is over. Is there a dangerous separatist? Cool. Hunter population, sure. Take it. Agenda is going to fail. Do you need a castle? I mean, yeah, I don't want a castle. I already have that one. We'll wait. Go ahead and do our conquest. I believe there is a Finland that we can release here. Yeah. We'll take a Finland. And we'll just feed them a lot of this region. So let us do that. Does that satisfy us enough, though? You're on the war goal. Getting ready to take that for Ah, we can wait. There you go, conversion. Wonderful. Go ahead and finish that conversion. Rest in peace. Dead on arrival. Military leader died. Coalition. Oh, he died. And we lost two stab, which means he was leading. Okay, this is going to be awkward. Cancel the cores. We need to bump stab immediately. Uh oh. I don't know if we have enough. Can we get a level 2 leader? No, we only have level 3. We'll pay for the level 3 for a little bit. We need those points. Oh crap, the peasants were occurred. Wait, it was at 93%. I don't necessarily believe that one. That suddenly ticked up very quickly. Because it should have only gone up to 2, which would have been 95. Unless it gets additional picks for... No, I don't know. I don't think that rebellion should have, uh, or the peasant war should have occurred. That's unfortunate. Then we just wasted a stab click, too. Alright, this means this land goes to Yarkland, though. Just to reduce our overextension. Particulist? Sure. It's gonna happen for a little bit. Definitely need this click here soon. You guys are gonna raise the autonomy, which just sucks, but part of life. Ottomans joined our coalition. Sure. There you go. Pay the money for a national manpower modifier. Yeah, we don't need the uh, don't need the extra unrest at the moment. Stockholm fell. This is just so we keep the Holy War CB. Or the forts. Yeah, that's fine. Do something like that. And money. Because we need money at the moment. Gotta fund our army for a little while. Stop fighting the Swedish. You get a new leader. 532, that's fine. The realm is going to be very destabilized for a while. 
Alright, give us a Finland. Excuse me. Why is there no Finland? <laughs> I desire a Finland. Yep, no Finland in the list. That might just be uh, us dying for the most part. Hey, Yarklin. Guess I gotta give you land. Kara is yours. These three provinces. Can't give them out because it's currently controlled by rebels. Kiva. It's this guy. You have more cores? Do you have some? Just kind of curious what happens if I release you. Oh, I can't do it because you're occupied. Gotcha. Yeah, not being able to release a, uh, a Finland is kind of. Oh, they're there actually. Apparently we had one of their provinces earlier. Let's go ahead and see about our overextension now. Is that 71? It's alright, Finland. You're getting land. Well, clearly need to improve relations with you. Actually, we can just influence you real quick. You. Or it's religion. And then we're just going to go ahead and grant you provinces so you become loyal. Not Ravel. Grant province, there we go. Branch. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I was, I was like, I was going to try, and then I was like, nah. <laughs> All right, you can have Lapland. I know that one. An air, I believe, is also one of them. Oh, we got one more province for you to take. Can you? There we go. How's our stab look now? Our overextension greatly reduced. Most of it's from Herat. You're gonna increase our local autonomy, that just sucks. Each of Merv collapsed. Fortunately, we can still core these because we've got Yarklin. Uh, we'll lose the money. We don't need extra rebels at the moment. And then war increases it by 50%. Ugh, that's gross. There you go. Coalition is dissolving, and you guys are far away. Oh, we got an army right here, though. You guys take care of that. An army over there. You guys. Go to the north, actually. You make your way over to the Particulist. Alright, good, they're gone. Alright, you go over here to... Herat's area. Particulist, fine. Revolt. For here. That's a small stack, you can deal with that. That's a 30 stack, or two 30 stacks, really. You'll hopefully be reinforced by the time you get there. You guys won. We're going to reduce our professionalism by one click to get an additional 30,000 manpower, because we need it at the moment. All right, you guys need artillery. Fortunately, you guys are, for the most part, spawning around the forts, which is good. Get state agenda failed, that's fine. Yeah, leave the coalition. We don't need you guys in it at the moment. Lose 15 legitimacy? Yeah, we'll lose that. It's okay.
We died. Go to the fight network construction. There we go. 22 stack. With no artillery, it's all infantry. You go down there. <clears throat> this stack, go after that fort. Hopefully you guys move a little bit together. Help Finland convert. Where are our other guys? Did you guys break? I have no idea where you guys are. You're at the capital. No, you're not. You're lying. I just sent you there. And you're being an occupied province. Gotcha. Gujarat left the coalition. Fantastic. You're fighting. Good. There you go. You actually have 5,000 artillery. You're a good stack. Go over there. Take care of those particulists. Take that province back. You have to basically take care of this entire side by yourself. And then oh, we'd love a royal marriage. Let's go ahead for another agenda. Church, manpower. Sure, we'll go for church and tea bear. Sweden lacks an heir. That's fine. We're not even going to worry about that at the moment. Let's just go hit that for a second. Timurids left the coalition. Wonderful. Kill those particulars. Didn't. Didn't actually know they were there. <clears throat> there you go. You need to siege that land back. There you go. You guys go there. Crush the rebels. Decentralization. No, we'll lose the prestige and money. That's nothing. Taking a loan. Stuck's not that bad though. Under pop, sure. <clears throat> Gonna work on the conversion of Finland. No, we'll pay them money. Money is a small object to us at the moment. There you go, we got that back. Go there. Peace. Native simulation plus 40%. Yeah, we'll take that. Dermids, you don't look like you broke that much. Right, you go there. You go to a more central location for this area. <clears throat> Our stab is still very, very low. Yeah, we have plus 14 on wrath right now. <clears throat> it's a little high. More rebel factions. No, there's only two though. Very tiny for a country our size. Need to give both these provinces over to Yarklin though. Highest priority. Additional population is wonderful. We are losing money, that should be fine. 100 extra 100 pop. Take it. Colony self sustaining, wonderful. Let's just go to the other fort. This one will fall soon. Hey, yeah, colony self sustaining, wonderful. Gain a thousand population in Aldon. Gain cast castle in Aldon. Yeah, sure. Gain some money. Just a free province right there with a, a fort. And this you're doing stuff, whatever. Siege of Merv is over. Take this province back. Nope, we'll, we'll pay you off. Volts in Finland? Who's nearby? Army that's nearby. Wasn't there one over here? There, you're there. Yeah. Oh, they're hiding underneath another stack. Alright, you go to Finland. Isn't this your core province? It's kind of weird that you have separatists in your core. Core region. Go help them out a little bit more. They love being Muscovite. Wonderful. Colonies are going up. Erkland. Grant Province. 
You may have Charge You. And you can also have Merv. They're both actually Orthax, so that'll help your stability a little bit. Another colony, self sustaining. You go to a centralized location. And we'll core this one ourselves. Just a little bit. What do we need? Stab at least one. That made a big dent in our rebel progress, though. 4.7 and 0 now. Wonderful. No more peasants for us. Herat is back. Let's go and actually convert Herat. Get it over with. There we go. We just need to bump up our stab. And right now we're losing money because we have a level 3 advisor. Otherwise we'd just be pretty happy going, you know, overall. We wouldn't be going through a crisis right now. <laughs> that is the peasant war. Hey, look, colonies are coming in. Wonderful. Give us that prestige. Finland, you actually took care of your rebels for one stack. We'll help you with the other one. You're coring that. Help you bleed off a little, a little bit of the Catholicism, and turn you orange. Can we demand land from the states? Yes, we can. Everyone will be happy and fine with it. You need church there. Might as well just get it over with. Give us 0.16 ducats. It's not super significant. Give us that stab. Yeah, leave the coalition. Peasant war is over. Restore the border. There we go. Hey, we lived. We just had to throw a ton of admin points away. But we lived. That's the important part. Alrighty, so now that that's over. Ming, you're an OPM now. You would take vassalization if we were close enough. Yeah. Ming, I would love to have you as a vassal. We'd feed back so much land to you. Lots of cores. Take these couple of provinces over here in Wu. I think we'd be able to court or to get you. Just taxes, man, power. Now we'll take the unrest. It's only a little bit. For the most part, we're stable now. I say stable with air quotes, but yeah. You got that, Finland. Let's go take out this little OPM here in Georgia. He's allied to a job. Ottomans, yeah, you get out of my coalition. We don't have a coalition anymore. You're fine there. A jam. I guess we'll stay there as well. Coruscant. Of course, you have quite a few, actually. That's why I can't release you, though. You exist already. Give us those diplo points. Nope, take the autonomy. We can actually reduce our autonomy. It's only in four provinces, though. Probably where the particulars spawned. Be my guess. Where are you guys? I think one of them is just stuck in St. Petersburg. He's bugged. Yeah, he's just stuck there. He's gone. Oh well. Eternal conflicts in Vijanagar. It's nice when it's someone else. Come on, who are you allied to? Sweden, Burgundy, the Papal State, and Staten still. Same people. Give us that military tech. We got new soldiers? Yeah. You're still going down there. Maintain with Gujarat. Yeah, we got the additional loyalty. Take an alliance with Ming. They won't give us a royal marriage. No, we don't want any rebels. We already dealt with them. Oh, we have a staff cost reduction guy. Oh, well. Oh, I had to sneeze again. Sorry about that, guys. So with the Ming on our side, that really opens up all of China for the most part. They won't take a royal marriage, but that's okay. Like, it will give us their trade power, though. 
doesn't share a trade note with us. All right, fine. We can influence you though. You're pretty cheap. Boost our trust up. Let's go ahead and give you a military access. I think we might be able to get you. Distance between borders. So we take those two provinces from Wu. We can get a Ming. That'd be huge. Bohemia doesn't have an heir. Would get you if you died. Noble house? Wait. Why is our family? Oh, you're married to Brandenburg, too. That's awesome. Oh, hungry died. You always have an heir, though. Commonwealth. Our truce is up. 1594, six years. We've got a while, actually. You're there. I don't really want to jump in this region again right away. Well, who are you allied to? Japan, Nivich, and Tondo. I don't know where Tondo is. Got Japan. Oh. Nivik and Tondo's over here. Gotcha. So if we declare war on Japan, we'd be fine. I don't want to lose the, uh, spend the money. I don't want to lose the manpower. Do a quick war here. Just eat this little OPM. John won't join. Oh, we actually don't have any claims on it. Fair enough. Then we go to war with Japan. Ah, George just got it. They'll deal with it. Go there. You go there. You get some artillery pieces because you deserve it. Milan does not have an heir. You can hire soldiers. Not that interesting, though. What can we get? Production efficiency. Yearly army tradition decay. Maximum absolutism. Don't have an option for that one. Or there's states generals. So what do we got? Production efficiency. Army tradition decay. I mean, our army tradition is pretty good. We already have a 0.7 reduction for keeping it. This would make it a 0.1, or a whole 1% gets to stay every year. These are generals are better, but this also gives us more money. Do we have a money issue? Yes, because most of our money comes from war reps right now. Or, actually, our surplus comes from war reps. We're also rooting out corruption, though, just due to overextension. Ten percent of production. That's like an extra ducat. Yeah, it's not that great. Let's go for that yearly army tradition. Commonwealth uh, signed us as a rival. We already had them marked. No biggie. Apparently, I can't core that. All right, Yarklin, you get a province. You get Hera. Enjoy it. Our extension is now none. Subject liber liberty is there reduction. It's wonderful. That should be fine. Well, throwing, throwing ourselves around the map a little bit. Do you convert Finland? Your army is forming up. Lost CBs, no biggie. Uh, we have a lot of aggressive expansion in that area anyway, so we're just gonna kind of meander on the other way. Alright, you deal with that. Keep one army home. Hungry, how do you feel about us? 63, that's not very high. Get that up. Sweden, you got nothing. Yeah, you don't like us anymore. You're not our rival. No, you are not our rival, so we don't get anything from actually taking land from you. Looks like Hungary is going to war. Just distance between borders. All right, woo. That means it's you. Peasant war. Yeah, you guys enjoy that. Japan, we have no CB against you. Who's your protector, Japan? Or who do you have a alliance with? Wu, Shu, and Qi.
Choose the Archie. We have to go to war with Korea real quick, get a, uh, a border with you, and then Holy War you. Don't have a CB with you. Who's in here? Oh wait, we have no way of getting to you. Shun. She would get us to war with Japan, which I'd rather just go to war with Wu. Dali. Dali's not close. Tondo, not close. Nivisk. You are, though. Where are boats? Oh, yeah. Your guy died. We need one army there. What do they have? They have a couple galleys. So might not be able to do anything about that one. So we might end up white piecing you, but sorry, piecing everyone else. Which is fine. Good, everyone is in position. Declare war. Wu. Actually, you're only allied to Wu. Oh, you and his cult pleasure. Tondo, Dali. I don't really want to go to war with Japan. I'll just go to war with you and Wu. And take the one province. There we go. We have access to your capital. Wonderful. Hey, can someone ask for access? They all hate me, so we'll take the end of it in a second. Just for a little bit of prestige loss, not really a big deal. Yeah, we don't have boats. We're still new to the whole boat world. Apparently we're winning. <laughs> Go and get repaired up. Hey Shun. Can I give you melter access? Yeah, I didn't think so. Should you give it to Wu though? Oh, we can take the long way. Which is indeed the long way. We have to go around Shun, because they won't give us access. Alright, you, you, you take the long way. Even through Yarkland, it's going to take a long time. Are you, are you sure, Shun, you don't want to give us access? What was we, you know, like, improve relations with you? Hey, uh, Fortune, can you, uh, can you ask him? He doesn't like me, but maybe he likes you. Can I reform progress? Yeah, lose it. Just not a big deal. Recall. Hostile attitude towards us. I mean, I get it. Those Ming Separatists? Well, that's what we'd like to see, but... Ming's not our vassal yet. Hey Shun. <laughs> Can we walk through your land, please? Oh yeah, I can actually go ahead and make new states. It's kinda nice. States and territories. Oof, we got lots of land. Ryzon was down here. Not bad land over here. Wait, is our capital in a non-stated region? It was. That's awesome. For all that. That's hilarious. Accepted the Chinese? Sure. Hey Shun. Can you have access, please? Oh, you'll give it to us now. Wonderful. You're just threatened to us. Surge across that border. Go after that four. Shouldn't apparently you just ate something. Hey Lang. Will you give us access now? Oh you will. You love us. Take that. Just you know, casually walk. Oh, we found Wu's army on accident. Georgia died. Going back from Shun. Uh, we don't need to be able to access anymore. 
Who's walking through their land? Oh, Yark Yarkland is. Alright, Lang, we don't need access. You guys are still sitting in their land. Get out, Yarkland. Cost me uh, Diplo points, which we really don't generate. We get two. Flee the city. Lose money. I guess we're losing money. No, there's your capital. Go after that. You took the long way, and it was not worth it. Took a loan? Sure. Honestly, not that surprised. St. Petersburg, you're now a core. You can have some buildings, apparently. Denmark has the end of religious turmoil. And I just saw what time it is. I uh, We are way over on the time. That is Wound Separatist. Um, so, if you enjoyed today's episode, please like, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.